I've been using Siri shortcuts and Apple numbers for a couple of years now to track my spending. Personally, I find it to be a very useful and powerful application of the Shortcuts app. There's not many free solutions for this, as a lot of the apps on the App Store are subscription based. So this is the first video of what will probably become a series where I unpack how I've managed to make this work. Here's what I've managed to do. Easily log transactions on the go, trigger this to happen automatically after payments with your phone, run this from the lock screen or other convenient locations, schedule regularly occurring bills, collaborate with partners or colleagues via iCloud, purchase history for quick logging, log and track income, verified transactions with your bank via text notifications, budgeting and other spreadsheet stuff. So let's see how this works. The barrier for tracking spending on your phone using a spreadsheet is that it can be tricky to enter everything in manually into a small table on your phone. Shortcuts enables you to enter data automatically without the hassle of dealing with tiny cells. In the Shortcuts app, when you create a new shortcut using the plus button, one of the actions is the add row to top or bottom of table. The action needs four pieces of information from you. The value, which is the information that will go in the cells within the new row for the table. The table name, in my case, table one. The sheet name, sheet one. And finally, the name of the spreadsheet. Let's add some info. I'm going to add today's date as the value. This will appear in the first cell on the left. You'll notice that there's a new plus button. This means we can add another value for the next cell along. So my table is only two cells wide. Once you've added all the info, if you run the shortcut, you'll see it populate the table for you. Boom. The only downside to this is that for it to enter information, you need your device unlocked. It can't do it in the background. Apple have helpfully made a monthly budget template in numbers. And if you have a close look, you can see that the information that the summary table is showing is provided by the table in the transactions sheet. What's more, each entry is a new row in the table and my system is based on this template, which I've expanded and added my own features to. I'm going to use the shortcut to add a new transaction to the table and you can watch it update the data. I'll also use the headers from left to right to determine what data to put in next. You can find the title of the table in the format menu under table and title. As this is a template already set up, for this to work, I'm going to need to remove the pop-up menu uh, format of the cells in the category column so it doesn't mess with my shortcut data coming in. There you have it. And the data has updated as well in the first row. You'll want to watch the next video as I run through in more detail how to set up the log transaction shortcut so you don't have to open the shortcut each time and manually change the data. Otherwise, that's just as time consuming as editing the spreadsheet manually. Thanks for watching.